two busy visionaries asked us to honor the Victorian home they're restoring and to give it the modern retro glam treatment inspired by their favorite hotel. From the moment you step into the Viceroy, the very first thing you see by the reception desk is this gigantic cameo. Think about it. That is an old, century-old, personal piece of jewelry that was about two to three inches. Here, it's blown up to three feet. It's that kind of play between the old tradition and the today's modern that we hope we'll capture with Tracy and Joey's space. What divides this pass-through lobby area from the bar is this geometric dividers. There's three big panels of them. We love that attitude. That is, again, reflected in the drapes and actually in the etched windows on the other side of the building. I think it's really the whimsy of this place that I think Joey and Trace are going to connect to. Take this, for instance. This is the reception desk going into the restaurant, but it's been treated with a surround that looks like a chest of drawers. Very traditional looking. And then it's lit by this lamp, which is a traditional Victorian figurine. But what's really cool about it is that all this tradition is sitting opposite these 60s slingback chairs, a chocolate couch, and a lot of other repurposed, sort of retro-inspired furniture. And that's what gives this space a sense of humor. Come on in. Wow. Oh, this is fantastic. <laughs> what do you think? The colors. I love it. Yeah. Everything. You notice everything is lined up at that exact same angle, all anchored by this carpet. What do you think about that? I love huh? yes. <laughs> Here again, it's the high contrast you guys said you really, really wanted. It's a very simple, natural idea, but the scale of it blows it up and makes it really, really modern. It's fantastic. So the contrast that you see here, we've done the same with the two wing chairs. Remember when you walk yes. in the, voice, the Viceroy, the first thing you saw was those Naga hide covered wing chairs? Yes. We did this in ultra suede. I've always we've loved wing chairs. They're awesome. But you'll notice they're a little bit, the proportions have been stretched to make them a little bit more modern. The lines are very curvy versus very sharp like a traditional wing chair. Yes. More importantly, they're really, really comfortable and they're portable, so those can really be moved anywhere in the space. These here are, again, that old and new mixed together. It's a, it's a century feeling to it, but with the glass tops, it opens it up so that you can actually see the carpet below. Yeah. The window treatments are geometric shears inspired by the same hotel. We place them in straight panels flanked with traditional green velvet tie-back curtains typical of the Victorian era. One of the things that we tried to do was take not only some of the clues from the Viceroy Hotel, but also do a couple of signature pieces that had enough detail to them that it reminded you of the Victorian era. One of the first places that you see that is in the Starburst mirror over there, where it kind of stretches and reflects the room this way. Beautiful.